Okay, so here is a brief overview on diaphragmatic breathing, what you can do to assess your ability to, di to breathe di through your diaphragm is to place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. And you really just want to concentrate on getting the bottom hand that sits on your belly to rise when you're breathing in and then also to drop as you exhale. Now as you go through the diaphragmatic breathing as well, one other thing that you can concentrate on to release tension is to pretty much follow a cadence where you are doubling the amount of time that it takes to exhale compared to your inhale. So if you inhale for four seconds, then concentrate on doubling up and exhaling for eight. Now what you can also do here is as you breathe in through your belly, you also want to try to simultaneously breathe into your lower back as if you're expanding three-dimensionally. There are some people who have um, chronic tension, uh, chronic, chronic low back tightness, really have a hard time demonstrating this because they have, they are unable to get that expansion of those lower back muscles. So now this is the complete opposite of the diaphragmatic breathing, and this is uh, chest breathing. This is kind of the um, default breathing pattern that you'll demonstrate when you are uh, cardiovascularly or aerobically challenged and fatigued. Um, as well as when you are in a stressful situation, stressful state, or experiencing some pain. So what you're going to see here is actually that when you, when it, as a chest breather, first of all, your breathing rate becomes more rapid. Um, and the top hand also uh, rises whenever you inhale. And you may also start to see that I might you might even see the tension that's uh, being shown in my neck as I go through those uh, shallow chest breaths. All right, so i just like to go back to the uh, diaphragmatic breathing again and uh, just kind of tie it in all together now because uh, we want to just um, bring up some rib breathing as well. So, you know, it's just like as you've, you get more comfortable um, breathing in through your diaphragm, then it really starts to, or, you know, just performing diaphragmatic breathing, then it starts to get important to, to be able to just like maximize the amount of movements that we're going to get, you know, in through like our trunk. And so that's why it's going to tie in some rib breathing. And, and as you can see here, what I have is I have my fingers just kind of resting on, like on my lower ribs, just as kind of like a, a tactile cue, where I'm going to just start to um, tie in some like lateral expansion as I breathe in as well um, to really like maximize my, my lung capacity and, and to maximize ventilation. So to sum it up, if... You can really dial in the diaphragmatic breathing as well as tying in the, um, the lateral rib expansion and maximize your ventilation. It's really going to assist with um, you know, just turning on that parasympathetic nervous system um, so that if you're someone who's dealing with chronic pain, uh, this, is a, this is an example of actually how breathing can help change that processing and perception of your discomfort.